Don't make that face. Well, hello and welcome back to Cooking with My Dumb Friends. Today we have my friend Kelly. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I just stepped on some stuff. It's not good. We're good. And I'm going to show her how to make some traditional Colorado smothered burritos. And what do you need for that? Fucking green chili. Duh. So we're going to make it kind of Colorado style and it's going to be delicious. First, we've got the hatch green chilies that were roasted today. And then we have the diced pork roast. After that, we have the serrano peppers, garlic, tomatillos, onions, and stewed tomatoes. And last but not least, chicken broth. So we're going to put in our extra light tasting olive oil. Let that get a little warm. So we're gonna throw our pork in there. It's going to splatter, so beware. We want to add salt and pepper. Sure. More? Yeah. More? 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Salt and pepper is yeah. good. Salt, salt and pepper is yeah. good. <laughs> More? Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how long do we need to cook that pork? Uh, we're gonna want to cook it for seven minutes, and it just has to get nice and brown, and brown is the best. So you know. <laughs> I no <do>. offense. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to do some uh, shots in a second here. So now what we want to do is remove the pork. It's a liar. Uh, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more oil so we have something for our veggies. Onions. Dump them off. Dump them. Yeah. Oh. Garlic. Dump them. <laughs> I like the oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> You didn't get them all, did you? No. Here. And saute. Saute away. That was a recall reference. Was it? Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> After the veggies, I'm actually going to create a roux with them so that when we add the rest of our ingredients and the liquids, it will thicken it. We like it thick. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Ready, you look like you're watching people have sex. <laughs> so, burritos means tequila. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Cheers. How's that going? Ooh! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, this smells so good. Alright, so we're going to put some flour in there. Uh, some recipes say about a cup. Honestly, I'd like to do it a little more sparingly. You sprinkle a little too. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get in there. Give them your sprinkles. Ah! That's right. And then okay. my hands are measuring the cup. Yep. Every grandma, their hands are measuring cup. Five cups of Z's. I certainly may. So what we did was kind of a quick roux and because we cooked the onions and garlic in a fat, we can go ahead and throw flour on it and make it into a roux because those are two ingredients in a roux, fat plus flour. So that kind of makes it easier for our process. 
and I wanted to go a little light on the flour because I don't want to over thicken our soup and have to thin it out later and dilute the flavors. Kelly is pouring the chicken broth in there. It's got, it's got an interesting stream going on. I don't know what that was about. Is that three or is that four? Come on, you're in here four? It should be. Then I just did five. Okay. Five is there. Perfect. Perfection. Now we're going to add everything else. So we've got our serrano peppers. Tomatillos. Good. We've got our stewed tomatoes. I have to cut up the green chili. Sour cream, you'll survive. White people we love sour cream. We do. We swear by it. You, you, we all agree. It's okay. I'll it. You're very brave. You're being very brave today. Okay. I tend to agree. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not correct. <laughs> I tend to agree. Dump it. Dump. Take a dump. That's what she said. That's always what she said. We had 17 peppers, right? So we yes. did use the magic 13. Uh. So, yes. <laughs> so what's next? So... <laughs> What's next is we want to let this simmer for 20 minutes and that's going to get those flavors really in there. Before this goes on any further, I have to let you know, I'm not a Colorado native. I have, however, been here for almost seven years and before I moved here, I didn't know that green chili was more than a pepper. I thought it was just that. It turns out it's a soup, it's a sauce, it's a stew. It's amazing. So that's why I wanted to teach you how to make it. <laughs> Vagina Town. Vagina Town. Vagina Town. Hold it down. Dude, you gotta feel how soft these fucking tortillas are. Fresh as the fuck. You're our secret squad. So what I'm about to do is blend some of this in my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, <laughs> you can use your blender. It works just as well. It has a rotating blade. It's the same concept, really. So we're going to try and get some of this without the pork. So we can blend it up. That's a little piece of pork. Get that out. Pour it back in. Ooh. We're going to make some slurdy because it's a little thin still, so we like it thick, like we said earlier. This is a third cup of flour. We put some water in there. You want to get a lot of shakes. <clears throat> you, yeah, give me, give me your best shakes. Those are, oh, 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 oh you farted. Um, <laughs> no, squirter. Oh, <laughs> What's this? all slurred, as we clearly are. Uh, you're gonna put some in there. But you'd be surprised how quickly it will thicken. You, but with flour brews and slurries, you have to heat it in order for it to thicken. So after a little while, you're gonna be like, oh shit, that's thick. So oh, you kinda wanna dial it back at first and then just kinda gradually work your way up. Mm. And so after 
we've simmered the green chili for 20 minutes and we pureed the two cups of it minus pork obviously then we're gonna want to let it cook for another 35 minutes until it's done but it's looking nice and thick and we love it we love it <laughs> now that our green chili is nearing its completion we are going to start building our burritos so we can smother them smother and covered just like my Waffle House hash browns. <laughs> Just like my Waffle House hash browns. All right, so for our burritos, we're going to have brown rice, which I made previously, ground beef, peps and onions. We've got shredded, what the store called nacho and taco cheese. Our black beans that I seasoned earlier. And that's all we're gonna have today. I think that's good enough. I think that's great. Like good burrito. Enough. Yeah. Bomb ass burrito. Bomb. So. So, much like sushi, as you've hopefully experienced with me before, you just want to place your ingredients towards the end here. Cool. And so, you want to pull your sides in and use it to bring it back. Right? Uh, That's alright, yours is a little full, but it'll still work out. I put so much cheese. I'm gonna do one more fold to make it uniform. That's yeah. a burrito, yo. Yeah. yeah. Throw this sucker on a plate. Now, we're going to put some of our green chili on our burritos. The broiler is heated. We are going to broil our cheese and get it tasty. Oh. That bubbly ass cheese. Woo! Yes. For sour cream, actually, you want to smooth it out. Because whenever you get that nasty watery crap on top of your sour cream, it's because the surface isn't even. And our final step, we're just going to put some cream on it. Put some cream on that bitch. So, this is mine. As you, you will, cream my own. Yeah, Maria. cream your own. Nice. It's creamy like one. Look at that. If you follow the recipe below, then you'll have some leftovers and that's a great thing because green chili is super versatile. You can have your breakfast burritos, your dinner burritos. <laughs> Lunch you burritos, <laughs> every meal burrito. All the day long burritos, all the live long day. Oh, so just have a bowl of green chili, garnish it with some melted Cilantro. cheese. Even. Oh, it's like crazy. Uh, <laughs> a bowl of green chili with a couple of fresh corn tortillas, you know, really make a meal out of it. And that's what we're about to do with these burritos. So once again, we made a mess, we made some food, and I think we had a good time. Oh, if, yeah. Totes my goats. <laughs> my goats don't totes. Uh, but I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and that you enjoyed this and learned something about some Colorado pork green chili because that's the shit. That shit. Thanks for watching Cooking with My Dumb Friends. <laughs>